Toolbar. Really like this uh, new script from Francois. Francois uh, has typically only been, uh, let me go ahead and undock this. Typically had only been doing plugins. So this is his uh, foray into scripts and it's a really, really fantastic start. Um, so as you can probably tell already, this is basically a toolbar of icons. And as you can see also that I can have it in vertical or I can have it in horizontal and it automatically uh, adjusts and you can then just dock it wherever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and dock it here. Sorry, I meant to dock it up here and then resize this down. And like I said, like I had it over here, I can dock it here and then it'll go vertical. So let's just leave it here for now. And as you hover, as you hover above these buttons, you can um, see that uh, what it does. So I had already created some buttons. So let's go ahead and um, well, first let me show you how it works. I'm going to just uh, create a new uh, comp here and create a new solid. Just be uh, 200 by 200. So for example, here FB is fast blur. So I just hit the button and it applied a flash blur. Uh, this one here is levels and applies the levels. These, of course, are fully customizable. And notice how this one has a custom icon. So you can either create your own icons or we're going to have icon, icon, icon packs that you're going to be able to apply. But I'm going to show you how to create your own buttons. So I already created some, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. So delete that one, delete that one. So, and you can change the size of the buttons. So here they're 30 by 30, but let's say you wanted them to be 30 by 15. Once I hit OK, you see that they just automatically resized. But let's leave them at 30 by 30 for now so it's easier to see them. And I'm going to create a new button. Um, oh, so one thing I forgot to I, I created a, a, one of the very famous uh, actions that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut is, so I'm going to select, I'm going to create, quickly create three keyframes here. And I even created a script to do this because there is no keyboard shortcut for time reverse keyframes. So you can see here when I select it, this moves over to there, right? There's no keyboard shortcut. So I had written a script that you could launch with a script, da, da, da. Now, with toolbar, I can create a button for that. And the way I do that is I hit edit, I hit add button. I'm going to call this uh, TRK for time reverse keyframes. I'm going to type the, the help tip, time reverse keyframes. And then I'm going to make this a menu item. And you simply type it exactly the way it's written, which has a dash here, time reverse keyframes. So you just write it exactly the way. So if I wanted to do browse presets, you would have to put the little three dots there, right? You do that exactly like that. You can actually load an icon if you want. And it actually, it's very clever. You can, it, it encodes your icons and saves it to a custom XML file that you can save anywhere. So here, notice how it's saved it to my preferences file. But one idea, for example, that Francois had is you could save it, say, to your Dropbox. And if you're a freelancer that works on a lot of machines, you just set this path to your Dropbox on every machine and your toolbar will automatically be synced to every workstation that you work on. So that's really sweet, I think. So there's time reverse keyframes. Here's the new button. So I just uh, select the, the keyframes, hit the, the button. As you can see, it time reverses keyframes. How awesome is that? Like I said, you can do it for any menu command that you want. You can also have it be, as you can see, uh, as you saw for uh, effects, uh, animation presets, you can have it launch a script. Uh, like I said, any menu item. And then also in the OS, let me show you this. It can execute any terminal command, including launching applications. So here, Cal will launch the OS calculator. So notice I button open that. It just launched the uh, OS X calculator. On Windows, it would launch the Windows calculator, which is so infinitely powerful, whatever you want to do. But the one thing I want to show you is the last one, which it can actually create, uh, launch, execute a code of JavaScript. So I'm going to call this button MB, which is morale booster. And what this is, is basically when you're working really hard and you're really stumped and you can't go forward and you think you're worthless and you don't think, you know, you can keep working, uh, you can just do a little bit of JavaScript. So this is going to just say alert. Uh, you can do it and that's it. So I'm going to hit OK. So let's say you're stuck and you need a little morale booster. You just hit your MB button and there you get an alert box that says you can do it. 
Uh, <laughs> so that's uh, the toolbar. I'm really excited about the toolbar. Infinitely configurable. You can add your own custom icons. Really sweet. So any item in After Effects now can create a custom icon that you have, can create immediately on your own. And you can create your own icons or get the icon pack, execute a terminal command, as well as custom JavaScript. So that's the toolbar. Very excited about the toolbar. Oh, and you can obviously dock it horizontally or vertically.